Okay, roasted butternut squash for fall. Organic butternut squash. Simple and easy, and this is gonna be a true favorite at your Thanksgiving or fall table. I'm just gonna knock the, the front, the tips and the tail off it, as we say, and then just cut it down into manageable chunks like this. Now the first thing is you wanna scoop out the, the base here. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna just get rid of this in a container of choice. So the, the best thing to do is a nice sharp metal spoon. See what I'm doing? I'm scooping. Scoop, scrape. Scoop, scoop, scoop. This is, can be done with a vegetable peeler or a very thin knife like this. I'm going to kind of roll my knife around it like this. This same technique can be used for trimming uh, oranges or any kind of citrus for that matter. So you just kind of, or even pine, pineapple. So again, I'm rolling around the side here. Rolling around, rolling around. All right. Now you want to make sure there's no rind because there is some, there is a tinge, tinge of bitterness in there. All right, I'm going to muscle through this baby and then we're going to dice it up, roast it. Now, I'm going to go right to roasting because that's the way I like to do it because we're going to finish it off in a saute pan. So there's going to be an additional cooking. But if you're just going to use this as a mash or I mean a, a, a simply roasted vegetables with no additional cooking like sauteing, then what I would recommend doing is cubing it, blanching it, shocking it in cold water, and then roasting it up, okay? So there's two ways to go about this. You can slice down this way, or you can slice down this way. So <laughs> much easier. All right, now, stack them up, cut them into baton, and then finito bandito, get them stacked again, because it just works a lot easier. Come on, Marquitos, you can go faster than this. I know you can. All right, good. Two, three, all right. And then one, a two, and a three. It's like uh, Jacques Lalaine, the French exercise genius. And uh, again, this is kind of a core and staple fall item. We're gonna use it for, we're gonna go super fall and super New England with this baby. Now, before you roast, there's two ways to go about doing this. Um, one is uh, a little bit of olive oil in a pan like this and some salt. This will draw out some moisture and start to advance the seasoning. Now normally I don't like to use salt prior to my finished dish, but in this case I'm gonna do it. Now if you do it in the bowl and then put it in the pan, you're gonna get a lot of good coating here instead of just pouring it in a pan and roasting it or pouring oil over it, okay? These are fully coated and shiny as you can see. It's gonna go in our roasting pan. Make sure it's single layer, just shake it out, push it out. Then into the oven it goes. Zoom. Oven should be at 325. Right. If you have a convection oven, turn the boiler on and give it a little crispness to the outside. If you don't, no big deal. Um, that size of a cube, which is about a half inch cube, that will take uh, you know about 35, 40 minutes. But check it once it gets tender. You also, the convection oven is gonna give it a little caramelization on the outside. Every now and then, every 10 minutes ago, we're gonna go in there and shake the pan, maybe stir it up again stir it up a little bit so that they get caramelized all over, okay? So now that that's done, we're gonna go right into pulling those out and finishing off the dish. Okay, this has been in the oven for about 40 minutes at 325, convection blowing. You know, it's soft right now, but not caramelized, but I'm gonna actually do this because I'm, I'm making more of a, it's a, it's a half mash, it's not a mash, it's like a mash, it's a mashless mash. So I'm gonna crank this up to uh, pretty high. So anyway, Getting this sauteing here. Gonna finish it off with just a knob of butter or two. Get that rolling through here. That's gonna kinda cream it out. All right. Then I'm gonna throw a little bit of maple syrup in there. About a tablespoon. Not too much. Don't want it too sweet. Come on up. As that maple syrup melts and that butter as a thicken, it gets a little tight. I'm actually gonna take some sour apple vinegar. Now this is purely optional. Just drop a little bit in there, just a touch. Now I'm, you just thought it was like an eyedropper full. Now this is sticking to the pan because of that sugar, but let's keep it moving. Oh, there we go, all right. That's really tight. But you see how that, that came together into kind of a thick sauce? That's that butter coming together real nice. So we're gonna put that in a little container and then we're gonna finish it up. Okay, so we have our, little bowl that we're going to throw this in. Just 
kind of put that in there real gentle like. Don't want to mash it up. Ah, can you see how thick the butter, when it hits the maple syrup, it just thickens right up. Okay, now we've dried out some fresh sage, did our own drying. Just put a few leaves on that, crunch it up. There is nothing better than sage, butter, and squash for fall. Check this out.